Jews first, then the Gentiles. If you want to look at it like that. Read on. And kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Go ahead. Verse 10. And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. Salvation to Ahiah. That's his name. We need to use his name. That's the name that delivered us this truth, delivered us this information, gave us the understanding. Not Yahweh. I'm going to put that out there again. Okay, the Jewish people are dealing with Yahweh. Ahiah, the I am that I am, is the God of all gods. Go ahead. Verse 11. And the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders, and the four beasts, which fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped the Most High, saying, Amen, blessing and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be unto the Most High forever and ever. And forever and ever. And the Bible says there shall be a new heaven and a new earth. I understand the reason we need a new earth now. Satan, along with his minions, who we call Zionists today, have worked to destroy the earth. And now the plagues is going to fall on their children. The plagues are going to fall on all the people in the earth who, who fought against the children of Israel. One other thing I wanted to go, go into here, because we have prophecy that's afar off, because it will take a while for this water, to dis this water to be tainted to get to where people are dying like flies. And see, they show this also in the movie, the movie, uh, the book of Eli. They don't hide anything. In the book of Eli, they show that there was no clean water anywhere. And the guy that had the clean water was controlling everything. They show that in the book of Eli. They also showed in the movie Knowing. They showed an oil rig being blowed on the movie knowing in the first three minutes of the movie. An oil rig being blowed. And that, that movie came out last year. To let you know they planned on blowing the oil rig, but they didn't think, they didn't think that it would get to a point where they could control it. They, I mean, that, that they couldn't control it, excuse me. They didn't know it would get out of hand. They can't control this thing. And even when they go to the next big story, the leak, it'll still be leaking. Okay, they might pull out the, the Michael Jackson trial again or something. Okay, but the oil is still going to be gushing. What really happened to Michael Jackson? Everybody's just going to forget about the oil that, that, that's about to kill all of mankind in that, in that region. And it will lead, this will lead to them eventually using the UN armies to say, listen, we must, we must misplace people. We must put them in a safe environment. And the Pied Piper, Barack Obama, and he's going to be so smooth with this thing. Are we just here to help the people? We, you know, he's going to come with his smoothness, and everyone is going to welcome him as the Savior. Okay? And don't forget what happened in Katrina now. Don't forget what happened in Katrina. Those that were considered refugees had to get spending cards. They had to get spending cards, and a lot of their children were taken from them and chipped without them even knowing. So all these things are culminating into the mark of the beast. It's, it's like one, it's, you, can't, you can't even point to one thing. All these things are coming together at one time. They're going to implement the mark of the beast. All this is, is happening in prophecy at one time. And it tells you that in 2 Baruch that one shall leave its place and another prophecy shall come in. So people that are looking for one thing are losing it. There's so many spirits working in the earth today. You cannot point to one thing. It's all happening in, 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 perfect, un, in perfect unison. It's a combination of things at one time. Also, as you can see, Benzene contamination in Gulf states. I don't have too much time. 
Here's, here's one, of the, one of the creatures who are suffering from what's going on there. Right? And it says, benzene contamination in the Gulf states. I can't read the whole thing, but uh, I'll, I will uh, put this in the chat a little later so that people can actually uh, pull this up and read this themselves. It says, a short benzene toxicity primer, how to stay healthy. So they're actually going into ways in which you can, you know, you can try to survive through a benzene contamination. That's what's about to happen in the Gulf Coast, the Gulf Coast of Florida, Alabama, all in that area. But how can you prepare for something that the tornadoes might take on shore. You can't prepare for that. It says here, raw crude oil is naturally loaded with a petrochemical called benzene. Unfortunately, several regulatory agencies, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which is the EPA, and the International Agency for Research on Cancer classified benzene as a confirmed human carcinogen. In other words, benzene causes cancer and other chronic diseases, disease states. So here it is, these so-called, what you would call uh, eugenists or Zionists that control our, our world under Satan as we speak, they probably did want it to, uh, want it to blow the rig and all that and contaminate the area to give people more cancerous things, but they didn't think that it would become uncontrollable. But in this article, it do tell you what to do with water in certain cases if there's some benzene contamination. So I'm going to put this there for those that are still back in Babylon who may need this. Eventually, it's going to come and deal with the rest of the waters. But the Bible says that the only place will be safe. In Second Baruch, it says, the only place will be safe is where the Most High is, His holy mount. It tells you exactly where it is in, in Second Baruch. Okay? And that will be the only safe place in the earth. Eventually, this tainting of the waters will happen, will happen throughout the rest of the waters. Why? If America sign into law that they can use nukes underwater to blow off wells in case of a catastrophic event that may tamper the waters, what's to stop other countries from wanting the same thing? Even non-nuclear countries. They can say, listen, we need a bomb in case our oil rigs offshore goes out of whack. And, and these are military uh, ploys. Mind you, now countries can threaten to attack other people's offshore rigs to contaminate their waters. All this is play in war. This is the world we live in today. This is it. We are in the time of the end. The only thing I can suggest is, first of all, we need to open up our Bibles, start praying and fasting, calling on the Most High, and uh, look within ourselves, start, start getting ourselves together, every individual, everyone. No one is exempt. Start following the commandments, worshiping on the Sabbath, try to do the best we can to follow a higher. If you're in America, you know what to do, according to the Bible. Revelations 18 say, come out of them, my people. For those who don't believe that that's America, that's nothing we can do about that. Okay? I just wanted to go into the oil rigs and the information and the Bible prophecies concerning it. Uh, do you all have any, any questions here? Amongst the brothers and sisters here? You all good? Okay. There's other scriptures I couldn't get through, but maybe we can go through through them the first part of Friday's class, and I'll let and, and the elder lawyer will teach the rest of uh, of that class.
with that, I'm going to say stay safe and please don't drink the water. Get some spring water. Do not drink the tap water. Filter your water, but stay away from the water. Okay? Bless you. Shalom. And I will.